Hello Pipe community, Fair Pipe here, welcome to episode 13. In today's episode I want to talk about bleaching your pipe. Uh, it's something I read about, apparently some pipe makers bleach the wood before they stain it in order to get a better stain on the wood. Um, not in terms of a better adherence of the stain but a better color for the stain. So I wanted to try it out and I wanted to see what it does. But putting bleach on a pipe seems like a bit of a radical thing to do. So I wasn't quite confident to go and stick one of my pipes in a, in a bowl of bleach. So what I did is I went and bought a block of briar uh, from Vermont Freehand. This is Algerian briar, which is the same briar that my rock pipe is made out of. And the rock pipe is the one that I'm considering doing this on. And, and then I went and I sliced off a piece of wood so that I have a surface to test it on. So then what I did is I bleached half of that and then did a contrast stain on half and normal staining on the other half to see what happened. And the results were actually somewhat unexpected. So let me show you what happened. So this is just normal household bleach that I've put into an empty tobacco tin. No irony. And I'm just going to spread the bleach onto the wood. I'm also going to do it on two sides that I've cleaned a uh, uh, sander down and I just want to see what happens. Ooh, it stinks. And I'm hoping it's going to go lighter. Actually I'm going to layer it up quite heavily in here. Surprisingly, or maybe not so surprisingly, briar wood does not absorb moisture very well. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to dunk it in here and let it sit like this. And let's see what happens. I'm going to let it sit like that for a few hours. And then I'm going to rinse it off and let it dry. And then we're going to see what it does. Actually, no, you know what? I'm not going to do that because I cannot do that with my real pipe. I, I'm not going to dip my pipe in bleach. That would be just crazy. So I think we'll, we'll count that as having had a good soaking. I'm going to let it sit for a little bit. Ugh, I got bleach on my fingers. And let's see what happens. So what I haven't shown you is that this has been sitting for a day now. Uh, I put two coats of uh, bleach on it and then rinsed it with water. Rinsed it quite a bit to make sure that I got all the bleach off. And well, let's just take it off and see what it's done. And yeah, you can see quite a color difference. There's a lot less red as you can see there on the unbleached on the unsanded side you can see the difference where it's taken a lot of the red out of it made it kind of neutral so this is the black stain and i'm just gonna give it the wee old coat here and i actually want to do the edges as well where I've sanded it. So uh, I can see what it does. And I'm just going to do half of this edge. There we go. So the stain is now dry. And what's interesting is that the area that's been bleached seems to be more porous, which I didn't expect. So the next step is now to sand this down a bit and to see what we get. So I'm going to grab some 300 grid to start with. There we go. That's a 320. And we're just going to... See what happens when we sand this down.
the area that has the bleach in it, this area here, now ignore that because the wood was little and even when I was sanding it on the flat surface, that probably got more than the raised. But if you look in this area, <clears throat> you seem to get a better differentiation with the bleach on it between the highlights and the dark areas. You actually get a really nice pattern there, which I really like. This is the, the Phoebing's yellow dye. And there we go. I want to see what happens if I just put yellow over this. And then I want to put some yellow here in the unstained section. Just to see what happens as a base color. And what I'm going to do in the middle is I'm going to put in, in the middle some dark brown or red or something to see how they, how they work together. I'm going to do the same with the end grain here. This is tan. I'm going to put some tan in the middle and see what that does. The tan, of course, has a little bit of yellow in it. just to see what it does. Okay. I want to walk you through the end results of this little experiment. This is the piece of wood. It's now been sanded it's somewhat smooth. It's not entirely smooth because I'm not going to make it perfect, but it has also been waxed with Canuva. So if I turn it, you'll see it's kind of shiny because I wanted to get it somewhat close to what a real pipe finish would look like. And here's the surprising result. This half of the, of the, the piece mm -hmm. over here, that bit is the bleached portion. This bit is the unbleached portion. Now, if you look at the area where I just did a straight yellow and a straight red stain, and you can see it especially in the yellow, you can see that the, the dark tones in the yellow is much darker than in the unbleached area. Same for the red. The red is a little darker than in the unbleached area. It seems that the, the dark tones go darker. The light tones stay pretty much the same. So you get a bit more of a contrasty look mm -hmm. on this one. Then in the contrast stain area, and ignore the edge, ignore this edge and ignore that edge because I didn't fully sand this down. But what you will see is that if you look at this area here, which is the unbleached area, and you compare it to this area, that the bleached area has a far more dramatic and, and, and contrasty look than the unbleached. It's like the, the, wood, the, the black stain penetrated more deeply into the wood for some reason when it was bleached. And then the, the lighter tones, which only picks up, of course, on the lighter tones in the wood, is pretty much the same between the two. So you get, instead of what you get here in the, in the reds and then the yellows, you get, you know, like a tint of black in the wood, which just gives it that slightly darker tint. You now get a really dramatic black, like a solid black color that remains after you've sanded it. I really like it. It looks fantastic. So the conclusion that I've come to is that the bleach actually opens up the wood pores, I think. It allows the stain to penetrate a little more deeply in the soft areas of the wood, which allows it to go a little darker than it would otherwise. 
and gives you a stronger, more contrasty look than it does unbleached. Well, there you have it. If you want contrast, bleach your pipe. So, certainly an unexpected result, but uh, I'm certainly pleased with it, and I'm going to experiment some more with this and see if I can apply this to my Rob. And uh, that'll probably be another video. So, until next time, happy piping.